Hey everyone, today I want to talk about transitioning to a high carb raw vegan lifestyle. Before I get started, I just want to let you know about my ebook, which is now up. Very happy to say in the last couple of days I put it up. 200 people have downloaded it already and seem to be very happy, so I'm happy about that. And it is going to help you transition to a high carb raw vegan lifestyle so much easier. And even if you're on the lifestyle, this book is going to help a lot too. So make sure you check it out. It's actually in the link above, like, it's part of my um, channel um, background. The link is above. So click on that link and check it out. So transitioning. Oh, I know, it can be tough. Absolutely. Like, in my ebook, I talk about how, you know, actually... It features my blogs from back in 2006 when I started this lifestyle. And man, I stuffed up. I screwed up heaps. But that is totally natural. You know, it's totally natural that you're going to stuff up a bit. All right, you got to go easy on yourself. But at the same time, you have to have the correct information in order to do this properly or you're just paddling your boat in the wrong direction. You got to make sure that you have this roadmap. And 801010 and my book are going to help a lot. But also, a big transition tip for me, number one, is find a wholesaler in your area and call them up. You know, just Google them right now. Get on Google and find out who is in your area, who's a wholesaler, fruit and veg wholesaler. Ring them up and say, look, I want like a couple of boxes of bananas, want a couple of boxes of dates straight up. Okay, you need to get onto the bananas and dates because they're like the rice of the raw vegan movement. So you want them in your life. All right, and you've got to eat them right. <laughs> so make sure, that's another thing, make sure you're eating your fruit right. Go to 30 bananas a day and check on the home page. It's actually a link that shows you how to eat your fruit right. You know, what is right and what's not. So anyway, we go back to finding the wholesalers. You must find someone in your area and get bargains off there. It's going to be way cheaper for you because you're going to have to buy in bulk on this lifestyle. Get all the cooked food out of your house. All right, if you want to be serious about this, if you want health, if you want vibrancy, if you want energy, you want your skin to clear up, you want to feel better about yourself, if you want all those things, then you have to go and chuck out all that cooked food. You don't want to eat it anymore, right? If you're not too sure if you want to eat it or not, then write your pain and pleasure list right now. All right, because I know that you're experiencing things that you want to get rid of and you can get rid of them. Your body can heal so much if you only just get out of its way. Okay, so write that pain and pleasure list. Write the reasons why you want to be on this lifestyle. And when you start to feel that sort of like, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to feel crap anymore. When you feel that feeling, then it's going to be easier for you to chuck out that cooked food. See, that's what Victoria Botenko did. She chucked out all the cooked food in her house. And her family came home to a raw food house. I think she even pulled out the oven, which I know a lot of people have done. It may seem extreme, but no, you know, it's dedication. They want to do this properly, and I admire that. And I recommend that you do the same. Bring in the raw. Bring in the fruit. Bring in the greens. Bring in nuts and seeds. Just fill your cupboards with vibrancy, with amazing living foods. Find your local organic shop dealer, okay? If you've got an organic shop, fruit and veg shop in your area, then get to know that person, get to know the owner. We've done that in a couple of states and it really makes a big difference because they give you a discount. You know, you look after them by buying a lot of fruit and veg off them and in return they look after you by giving you a discount. So that's another good tip. If you're going, oh, it's too expensive, Find a way to make it work. You can. It's like your health. You need to put your health first, right? You might be dead tomorrow. Seriously, you might be. So start living today. I also suggest that if you're transitioning, you try and do a 30-day challenge with a friend. And a 30-day challenge can be really, really good for motivation. If you've got someone else there holding you accountable, then you can be a lot stronger. And remember, like, it's 30 days, you know, the cooked food is still going to be there. After those 30 days, you can go back and eat it. But you, you've got to give this lifestyle a proper chance. Even 30 days isn't enough, but it is a good start. 
and I can almost guarantee you're going to feel so, so much better at the end of those 30 days that you may not want to go back to that other food. The only reason you feel better is because you're getting out of your body's way and you're providing it with real food, you know, real live living food and you're taking on that energy. So do a 30 day challenge and you can also get me as a mentor, you can get me as a coach for 30 days, I do that as well. But if you don't, just get a buddy, just do it. No time like the present. If you're not eating enough fruit, you're going to have cravings. Make sure you have thousands of calories around you at all times from fruit, okay? Thousands of ripe calories, varying degrees of ripeness. For instance, look what I do. See all those beautiful bananas? And there's Harley's little trophy that he got in a running race. Very well done. Yeah, so if you don't have loads of calories around from fruit, then what are you going to do? You're going to, even if you have your house without cooked food, if, even if you rip out the stove and you've got no cooked food in the house, if you don't have enough calories from fruit, your brain's going to go, go and get takeout now. <laughs> so you need the calories around. Lots and lots and lots. Bananas and dates. Go and buy a box of each right now. Be serious about this. Don't whinge. I can't do this. This is too hard. Oh my God. Why is this lifestyle so hard? Why is this lifestyle so hard? Blah, blah, blah. No, it's not. You're making it hard. Okay, listen to how to do it properly. Don't focus on all the challenges that it brings. Focus on all the great results that it's going to bring. Focus on how good you feel when you eat living food. And that's going to make this transition way, way easier for you. You only have today to worry about. So today in this moment, that's all you have. So get on the phone. Call the wholesalers now. Get to know your local organic fruit shop owner. Even work there. I know a few friends who actually work at their, their local fruit shop and they love it. And they get so many good deals. Do what you have to. Do what you have to to be healthy. You only get one shot at this life. So make it the best that you can. You deserve it. Do it now.